Every kid knows that a power plant puts out a tremendous amount of waste heat because they watch The Simpsons. That's a nuclear plant in the front, but what you really see is the big cooling towers. They say, okay, Tom, don't use cartoons. This is a serious conversation. Let's use a real plant. <laughs> Craig, Colorado, taken on a cold morning, and what you see is all that heat coming out of the cooling tower. That plant has been pumping away since before 1950, and it takes two-thirds of all the fuel that it puts out and uses it to warm the air at Craig, Colorado. Not particularly useful. Um, generation efficiency. That's the elephant in the room. That is the silver bullet. Nobody talks about it. We put all kinds of policies into doing everything else and ignoring this because most of the energy industry makes its money on this inefficiency and they don't like to change the rules. And those of us that have tried to done, do CHP over the last 30 years <laughs> know that all too well. You start out with 100 units of fuel. You put it in a central power plant. And as you've just seen on the picture, you throw 65% of it away. That's smart. <sighs> Very clever. Then you run it through a long set of wires. And you waste another 2% of it. Uh, and finally, this all gets out to useful power of 33 percent. And these are data are good for 1960 as well as 2009. It's really, it's really handy. I don't ever have to revise this graph. It's just always the same. <laughs> Let's try another way. Let's take that same 100 units of fuel and go put it in a series of small plants that combine heat and power. What does that mean, combine heat and power? You take the heat that you were throwing away and put it in a pipe like in Elwood, Indiana, 100 years ago, and you run it to somebody and avoid a boiler. Now what happens? You've still got waste heat, 33%, but you're recycling a lot of the waste heat, bringing it back. You have no line losses, because when you have local power plants, you don't need long wires that waste all the energy. You still need long wires to connect us, but you get very few line losses when the power goes right next to the guy. Or to the user, you've got 33% useful thermal energy, 33% useful electric energy, and you're up to 66. You have doubled the efficiency. What do you mean there's no silver bullet? We know how to do this. Why don't we do it?